refresh of the A10 lineage from Denny End to Milton. The clearway is poorly marked and vehicles often park on the clearway and the centre lines are in a very poor state. Um, a 2021 Cambridge County Council audit recommended to inform highways of the poor markings, but nothing has been done. I'd like to see a date for relining the A10. Uh, now the gas main is complete. I'm happy to take that. Uh, Thank you. Um, so this was uh, this was raised at the uh, uh, recent Parish Council planning meeting, after which I took away that uh, question and raised it with the Assistant Director for Maintenance, who said he would conduct an investigation into the into the lining and into the clearway. And I'm still awaiting uh, the conclusion of that of that work. Uh, but I'll update. I'll send an update as soon as that comes back. Thank you very much, David. I'm um, sorry, there, we have got a written question, uh, which is not to do with transport, it's to do with Brian's presentation. Um, well, it came before the neighbourhood plan. And it is from Pamela and David Black, and it's to evaluate the benefits of saying yes to this plan that commenced in 2015. I've been unable through writing to the Water Beach Parish Council clerk to view the running total of the costs for this plan. I've written to South Kansas District Council and they informed me to consult Water Beach Parish Council. Are the full running costs uh, LG grants for this project fully accounted? Where can the public view this or is this none of our business? Um, I think that's actually a question associated with well, Kat, Brian, do you know the costs of the Water Beach plan? Do you have a budget? You're muted, Brian. There you are. Uh, not off the top of my head. What I do know, though, is um, we've only spent about two or three hundred of parish council um, funding, and the rest has been um, grant funded. Yes. Because I believe South Kansas District Council support the development of neighbourhood plans, do they South not? South Kansas do, yeah. And we've had a look, lately we've had a bit of support from that, yeah. And enough to prepare it for referendum. Can I say as well, um, all of this funding, it, it is all actually ratified, and it's all in the parish council. That's so we ratified, and, and I'm, I'm very sorry. I would like to say to Mr. Black, I'm sorry um, that I haven't seen um, any. I haven't seen your information, and our clerk is ill at the moment. So, if you wouldn't want to speak with me direct, I'm more than happy to talk to you. On the other okay. part of this question, um, I, I can't advocate whether you vote against it or for it at the moment because we're not allowed to do that. No. Um, so all I can say is. Make your own mind up and vote. That's fine. So, and, and I'm sure if um, uh, if there are needs to um, give Mr. and Mrs. Black the, the information they're interested in, we, the, this question will co can go onto the website. Mm -hmm. It can be answered on the website. I'm sure the clerk will have it. Well, in I'm happy, happy to speak. Okay, so, so I'll move on now if that's okay. Thank you. So um, there's a question here on how does Water Beach Parish Council obtain a contribution to running the Water Beach office? I think that means the Parish Council office. All the developments are adding a great deal to the, of cost to Water Beach residents as we have to take on more staffing hours. Have you got RLWS 106 money for the office staff in the RL, RLWS 106? Sharon, can you help with that? Can I just say, I don't, I don't believe we get any S106 money at all to help. No, not with the plan. Sharon, no. can you answer what we, that? What we, have, what we have got is a consultant that is paid for by Urban and Civic and RLW. Yes. To, to uh, help us uh, responding to um, propositions from those developers. Thank you. Sharon. Mar Thank you. I'm also going to pass this question over to Mike, uh, Anna, uh, because he's um, obviously working on the RLW section 106 at the moment. Thank you. So, so the view is that um, <clears throat> for the section 106 discussions, Urban Civic uh, didn't provide any money to the Paris Council for the running of the planning of, of 
commenting on planning applications, although Urban Civic and LW are both contributing to professional planning advice, which we consider that's to be a that would be a reasonable contribution because that's the additional advice that you would normally be expected to, to if you wanted to pay for that advice, it would probably cost quite a bit of money. Um, and so Sharon and I in discussions, we, we consider that's an appropriate um, use. Okay, thanks, Mike. Um, I'm conscious that Michael Williamson has his hand up. Could I ask Michael Williamson to be unmuted so he can ask his question? And Michael, that means you might get a thing on your screen saying, do you wish to be unmuted, I think? Yeah, there we go. Am, am I now audible? Yes, you can, we can hear you. All I wanted to say was that the information about the uh, neighbourhood plan expenditure and income is all detailed on the Parish Council website, and it can be found in the financial information in the on the Parish Council on the oh. Parish Council website. Brilliant! Thank you very much, Michael. That's really helpful. That's, and, and that's up to twenty March twenty twenty one. The final accounts for twenty one twenty two, of course, not yet there. And Michael, it's a separate tab, isn't it? You go into Waterbridge Parish Council and there's a separate tab for neighbourhood. Yeah, uh, if you go to, uh, you can find the financial information. It's all there. I'm just, I'm just looking at it at the moment. OK, um, next one is, um, Brian didn't mention where people can go to see the plans ahead of the vote tomorrow. Where where can the plans be seen? Jane, do you, do you want to answer that or Brian? Thank you. Oh, yes, we should have you now. Uh, sorry, yeah. Um, the plans can be accessed online. Um, I haven't got the address on it, but if, you, if they go to the um, Parish Council website, there's a link from there to the neighbourhood plan. Brilliant, lovely. Thank you very see. much. Okay. Um, but the, there, so, is, there is no. So there are some more questions. I haven't answered that one yet. Mm -hmm. There is there are there are no paper copies in the village. I don't believe South Cam's issued any, uh, who are, and they are responsible for the, uh, the referendum. For the referendum. So, this is so no, it's because we're all we're we're trying to go digital, and I'm trying to get the last few questions in, if that's okay. So you can go to the parish council website, and the plans are available online. Kath Martin uh, says, "Could you please let me know what progress has been made on traffic calming for our neighbours?" Warning C suffering from increased traffic flow and speeding. Um, I'm wondering whether that needs to go to either Mike Huntington or David Allatt. Um, I can. Yep. I think. I think. Sorry. So I think. Sorry. I think David may need to answer that one. The. Um, I, I've mentioned in the past that the 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 legal clause that relates to um, traffic calming is is with the county councils. Their, their element of the section one six. I can pick that up if helpful as well. Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry, um, Rebecca. Yeah. Uh, okay, Rebecca, do you want to go? Yeah, just uh, we obviously we're working with Water Beach, with uh, Lamb Beach, with uh, with Horning Sea at the moment about the public realm uh, traffic calming work. So I think it's fair to say Water Beach is uh, probably ahead of the game, and Lamb Beach is, is catching up. We had a good session. We had a visit. Uh, with the independent consultant who is working with all of the parish councils to take this forward uh, and he had uh, a good session with Robert at Horningsea Parish Council and I believe we're now looking to, to do a public meeting at Horningsea around some of the suggestions that have come out of those early discussions. So I think there will be fairly imminently uh, 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 some options and ideas um, shared with the community to start to get those moving uh, and certainly you know, if you speak to Robert Baum he'll have the latest Parish Council, but uh, I'll also just make sure Andrew Cameron, who's the consultant, is uh, is on the front foot on that as well. But it, it, it's all moving forward quite quickly, so hopefully all of the communities will be able to input to uh, and help co-design some solutions for the villages that uh, address those points. Thank you, Rebecca. David, did you want to add anything to that? Uh, no, I, uh, Rebecca just covered it, actually. I was going to say that through the 106, we secured the principle, but without being overly specific on the design, because we wanted it to be co-designed with the uh, with the communities. And that process is ongoing, as Rebecca's just described. OK, and David, could you stay online? Because there's another question from Andrew Cotton. Yeah. Does David have an indicative milestone plan for the A10 project that can be shared? Um, I, I will have an indicative milestone plan very, very soon um, because of some slippage with the, with the, and a dialogue with the Department for Transport and the sort of uh, recent county decision to reaffirm support. 
uh, the timescales are somewhat up in the air in the moment as we construct the pro project and set out the key milestones. Um, but I expect those discussions to wrap up very soon. Um, so absolutely, I'll be in a position to share the indicative milestones for the uh, outline business case. Thank you very much, David. Jane, I can see Jane Williams has her hand up. Do you want to go ahead, Jane? Uh, you're muted, Jane. Yeah, just, um, yes, I would like to go back um, to Mike's comment about um, Tim Slater. Uh, we are trying to work forward that we are getting help with consultations because, as I said to you, it takes hours. But the part of the thing is, it, it's actually the admin time for our staff to actually respond to planning matters. That is case we're volunteers. We don't get paid as councillors, as parish councillors, but our admin staff, as I said earlier, actually are bearing the brunt. And they're saying um, we're going to put 25 hours in just to deal with planning matters and the neighbourhood plan. So I would just contest this thing about giving money um, from developers for helping. Jane, thank you. I, I do understand what you're saying. I, I think we understand what you've, where you're coming from. Um, but that question has been answered, has it not, to some degree. So um, I'm going to move on to Margaret Starkey, who's asked Anglian Water, has now published the phase three consultation, which shows the boundary of activity has been extended. This is for the Cambridgeshire wastewater treatment plant relocation. And there will be impact of construction traffic for the Water Beach to Honey Hill pipeline. Has this been taken into account in traffic management? Uh, and could I ask, um, Mike Huntington to respond to that. Um, thank you, Anna. Um, I think I'd have to look into that. I think I'd have to um, find okay. in that information out. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Catherine's left, hasn't she? she left uh, no, that was from Margaret Starkey. Sorry, I mean the person from Angling Water. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, she yeah. has. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That, She's that, left. That, yeah. That's right. OK, so we'll put the answer, the question and the answer on the website then. Uh, the last question I can see is, is actually that Michael Williamson has kindly put the details of the costs of the neighbourhood plan. Um, he's put the link to the parish council, the, the neighbourhood plan part of the parish council website. So um, all the questions that have been asked and answered will be put on the website. So thank you very much. Um, drawing to a close. I'd just like to thank everybody who's taken part in the meeting this evening and thank you for your patience because I know it's not easy to be on the receiving end of a webinar but um, we're very grateful to people for submitting their questions so that we could answer them and we will do so on the website if we have not done verbally tonight. So we're just a couple of minutes earlier uh, but I think we'll call to a close now. Um, and thank you very much for everybody to, for taking part. Thank you very much. Could you close the webinar, please, if people have had a chance to take down those details?